is good everybody my paper moon fam it's your boy paper sin back with another reaction video this one actually first before we get to that have you you've heard of the maui fires obviously right that's why you click, clicked on this video um and then i'm sure i'm sure you've also heard about how oprah and the rock have decided to like you know step up and be like hey you know, you can donate can uh, can you please donate to this fa this foundation or this whatever and um so that we can send them money to to help to, to help uh, the people the victims of the maui fire people did not like that you know a lot of people didn't like it uh because it's like why are a billionaire and a multimillionaire asking the average citizen for money like they could easily just donate something to themselves and like just completely change up the situation uh, i haven't seen any information about them ever donating maybe they did maybe they didn't i don't know to be honest but uh yeah, a lot of people are saying that if this is this is a uh, it's, it's not cool of them to, to do that. You know, uh, they don't. A lot of people don't agree with it. And apparently, 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 new details confirm that Oprah and The Rock's Maui fraud benefit the rich. Let's check it out. This is by the YouTube channel Just In. And this literally just came out like at the time of recording it came out like what two hours ago so we're gonna check it out and uh as always link to the video link to the channel will both be in the description below so be sure to check them out when you're when you're, when you're done here all right let's go uh, at some point i will make a major donation at some point all of the smoke and ashes have settled here all right hold on set disclaimer content might be gossip rumors or exaggerated so like the title of the video could be could be exaggeration. Uh, some other things. Obviously, these type of clips right here are are just as is. But what the what is said in the video might be gossip, rumor, or exaggeration. Let's continue. A major donation, after all of the smoke and ashes have settled here, and we figure out what the rebuilding is going to look like. This is going to be a a long and difficult process. Oprah claimed she would be at the forefront of helping Maui residents mm. rebuild their affected land. And she actually did what she promised by joining hands with The Rock to form a Maui fund for the people. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. Despite the gesture, the public has realized that while the fund was promising funds to the people, Oprah and her executives are racking in big funds, and the amount they oh, are shit. offering the people is small compared to what they are benefiting. Oh, the shit. The president of the nonprofit that manages this fund is making over $400,000 a year. You got the CEO making over $300,000. You have the CFO making over $290,000 a year. A Maui native has spoken up about how despite losing everything they were being offered, very little finances and aid, while the elites and the rich were benefiting from the disaster. You're telling us to fill out this paperwork so that you can give us the least amount of money. All I've had since day one is $700. The public feels like the fund was cre- Holy shit. So they're getting like hundreds of thousands, like, maybe even millions by now. Uh, and they're only giving out like $700, like maybe $300, $400 here, $700 here, who knows. But I'm not saying that this charity is, it works this way, but there have been charities in the past that if when you donate to them, a large portion of the money is kept by the people who run the charity or the people or they go to someone like other millionaires like that and stuff like that and and the uh just a small amount of the money that's actually made is you know give uh, given off to you know the people who actually need it so i wouldn't be surprised if that was the case in this one but at the same time i would still be disappointed you know like uh, i was actually hoping that y'all would actually be, you know, be giving, be giving all this money to the people who need it, not just bit, just not, not, not just crumbs. Damn. 
created for the benefit of the rich instead of the affected victims who might even end up losing their land. Let us get into the details of the Maui Fund benefit and how it affects the people of Maui. So previously in August, right after the devastating fires in Maui, Oprah pulled up for the victims and offered them aid on the day-to-day -day supplies they needed, promising to help with how the affected land was going to be rebuilt. The deadly wildfires had swept through the island, damaging and destroying thousands of structures, leading to the deaths of 115 people, mm. with dozens more still unaccounted for, according to a report by CNN. Uh, at some point, I will make a major donation after all of the smoke and ashes have settled here. At some figure point. Out what the rebuilding is going to look like. This is going to be a, a long and difficult process. Her I really don't like how she worded that because it's like, at some point, I'll, I'll make a donation. But I mean, she's like, after everything has been blah, 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 sorted out, I mean, decide what the rebuilding is going to look like. By that point, by that time, people may have, you know, people may not be thinking or focused on Oprah, you know, making her own do donation. You know what I'm saying? And even, even if she does, it, it could likely just go back to herself if this whole thing is set up to just benefit the rich and not the actual people who need the money in the first place. But if even she, she could still just make a donation and it would just go right back to herself. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that's how it, it is. I'm just saying that's what if. You feel me? But I, I don't really like, I really don't like how she worded that. At some point, I'll do it. At some point. Her promise wasn't accepted well by the public because many felt like there was another objective and motive behind her involvement, but she actually kept her word when she and Dwayne The Rock Johnson recently launched a relief fund to help aid local residents who were affected by wildfires that ravaged large sections of Maui, Didn't Hawaii. They say this? Weirdly, despite the good gesture, viewers hit back at the two very rich celebrities and asked why they couldn't donate more of their own millions instead of appealing to people with less money. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. The pair had posted and a video a, to their millions donation. of followers on Instagram in which Winfrey could be seen standing beside Johnson as they introduced the People's Fund of Maui, which they said aimed to help raise money for local residents affected by the tragedy. In the video, Oprah claimed the pair had been inspired by Dolly Parton's philanthropy and believed people were skeptical about how to help Maui residents. Mm. So they created a fund where people could donate and the money would go directly to the people who needed it. They even included a lengthy caption alongside the post that stated that every adult resident who was displaced by the wildfires in Lahaina and Kula would be eligible to receive $1,200 per month to help them through this period of recovery and provided a link where those directly impacted could apply for the funds. Hawaii has been one of the most expensive areas in the U.S. And while reading the post viewers started questioning if $1,200 would be enough for housing in Maui or if the funds were just meant for food and basic utilities while the people remained camping outside. I don't know. Maui is a pretty expensive place, isn't it? I don't think twelve hundred dollars would be well, maybe for like a, a month at a spot, but I don't know. The caption went on to read, we are honored to start this campaign with $10 million and ask for your help in donating to those who have lost their homes. We thank you in advance for your contribution. We're so concerned about what was happening in Maui. Were you? Were you concerned? You're a multi-billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire asking us, the common people, for donations to support the victims of the Maui fires. <laughs> The upload received like more it. than 60,000 comments, many of which appeared opposed to the idea of wealthy celebrities appealing to regular working people to provide additional funds. The viewers asked why the duo had not asked their wealthy celebrity friends to help chip in and why they yeah. themselves, who have a lot of money, had shown their support with so little despite the fact that they are also residents of the area. That is a good question. When something like this happens, why don't the you know wealthy and famous um <laughs> influencers and you know uh, actors and you know oprah and like the rock why didn't they ask their wealthy and famous friends why isn't this direct why isn't their uh, request directed towards them and why is it directed towards the, the average person that's a very good question you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't, I don't think you ever see someone 
asking their rich and wealthy friends to donate for a cause. I don't think you ever see that. Do you? I don't think I, I can't recall ever seeing. Have you? Let me know in the comments below. The same video clip was reshared to Winfrey and Johnson's TikTok accounts and included a donation button where TikTokers could make direct contributions. Oh my God. Winfrey's upload received 834,000 views and just 11,000 likes, unusually low for a video with this many views, compared to over 53,000 comments, many of which shared a similar sentiment to those on Instagram. The Rock's upload received 1.4 million views and similar criticism in the comments section. In the multiple mm. users also posted videos reacting to the clip, stressing the duo should be digging deeper into their own pockets or asking their fellow millionaire and celebrity friends to pledge instead of appealing to regular people who may be struggling financially. The public even went on a search and found that Forbes reported Winfrey had a net worth of $2.5 billion Damn. and owned at least 13 properties on the Hawaiian Islands. And The Rock, who is currently the world's highest paid actor, was worth $270 million. The $10 million donation in Bruh, this context represented now. a meager 0.5% of their combined estimated wealth. The Rock had separately revealed his $5 million contribution, indicating that Oprah matched it, despite her net worth being 10 times greater. He vowed to raise and donate much more, but even his $5 million amounted to just 1.8% of his Forbes assessed net worth. According to the public's perspective, an American with a $150,000 net worth making an equivalent gift would part with $2,700. Oprah, on the other hand, gave approximately 0.2% of her estimated $2.5 billion wealth, akin to a person with a $150,000 net worth donating $300. Together, their $10 million donation accounted for a mere 0.36% of their combined estimated net worth of $2.77 billion. Okay, real quick. Um, so even if, if, if their donation is in, if they actually did donate the 10 million, you know, five million from each of each of them, then in my opinion, uh, at least they donated something. You feel me? But it seems now that the, the issue is it's because they, they, they still have so much they could give, but they only gave five million each. Five million is still a lot of, a lot of money, in my opinion. So I, I, I'm, in my opinion, I'm just saying, at least they donated something. But uh, so I'm not sure why people are mad that they could have donated more. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm not sure about that part, but I am. I'm still saying I'm still against them appealing to the average person for money instead of appealing to their wealthy friend. Um, who could have, who could also donate 5 million each. You know what I'm saying? That would go a long, that would go a much longer way, a much more long way than just asking the average person to donate. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. While the largely critical comments beneath one of Johnson's Instagram posts speaking on the fundraiser are still visible, comments beneath Winfrey's TikTok and Instagram posts on the subject appear to have been switched off. The mm, criticism continued damn. on X and That's TikTok in the days following the announcement of the fundraiser. On September 2nd, Winfrey posted a follow-up video with another lengthy caption on Instagram, where she thanked the 10,000 people who have personally donated and said thousands of people who had been affected by the wildfires had signed up for assistance. She added, we are working as quickly as we can to verify them and get the money delivered. These are the salaries of the executives. Pause. Again, this is the nonprofit Look at the, the salaries of the executives. While researching the topic, a what professional fundraiser exposed Oprah and The Rock's Lahaina, Maui, Hawaii Fires fundraising scam, where the salaries of executives managing the fund make $400K per year. Damn. The woman claimed to have worked in fundraising for years, so she actually went through the receipts and found out that the Maui Fund is within the Entertainment Industry Foundation. Based on the fact that the fund was a nonprofit, the executives of the organization are racking in big salaries while offering the people of Maui $1,200. The president of the nonprofit that manages this fund is making over 400 
$200,000 a year, and the CEO makes over $300,000. From the receipts she was showing, all the executives, except for the people on board, are making over $171,000 a year, with the CFO making over $290,000 a year. These are the salaries of the people who are executives of the nonprofit that's managing this fund. I, I'm sorry, what? I, I'm sorry, what? So, well, <sighs> couldn't they also just cut those salaries in half and give the re give that other half to the people in need? Yes, they could, but would they? No, no, apparently they wouldn't. So if all this is true. This is just another example of careful who you donate to because when there is a disaster, people, there are people who will seek to take advantage of your sympathy for those who were in that disaster in order to line their own pocket. So you have to be careful of who you're donating to because that money, like, like I said before, that the money that you donate, the majority of it is probably going to go to the pockets of the people who are, um, asking for money or the, the I guess the executives of in this case executives the executives of the nonprofit that are managing the fund instead of the people who actually need the money you know what I'm saying so oof you're telling us to fill out this paperwork so that you can give us the least amount of money all I've had since day one is $700. From the Damn. expose, the public realized that the people who were gaining from the fund a lot more than the actual victims were the executives. This has made the Maui natives question whether it was they or America that was benefiting from the funds since all they were doing was following instructions to sign papers and get the meager funds without even having enough knowledge of what they were signing. Four out of five hmm. of us lost our homes, it was burned to the ground. We are only being told, stand in this line, sign here. What are we signing? Who is it benefiting, us? Or Some Maui residents themselves mm. have been speaking up and saying that while they were being helped with funds, tourists were being told not to visit Maui. And considering the fact that the residents solely rely on tourism for their living, this is such a oh, huge shit. blow to them. Some of the things that's already been happening is realtors are calling families who lost everything, offering them to buy their, their property and their home. That's fucked up. See, people wanted to take advantage. Yeah, let me let, here. I know you're strapped for cash. I know, I know it. You know what I'm saying? I saw the fires on the news. <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and buy your property, your your land. You know, say so we go ahead and buy that from you. Let me cop that from you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wait, where you where you go live? I don't give a shit. You, that's on you, bro. Go find somewhere to live. Anyway. Now about that property though that you got right now, I, I would like to purchase that, you know, for myself. I plan on getting buying out the entire neighborhood and building a little mini golf area, mini golf restaurant area. Uh yeah. So so sign here on the dotted line. Sign, yeah, just sign. Sign here. That's some fucked up shit. Yeah. That, that's messed up. For pennies on the dollar. Just pennies on the dollar. They have also spoken and said that while they are going through the devastating process of getting back on their feet, realtors have already started calling them up to buy their land for very little money. It's like vultures had been waiting patiently for their time before swooping in. Now that a lot of people have talked about the fund, maybe there are going to be changes where those who can give more do so, and this will definitely help the people of Maui. A fan on X, formerly Twitter, said, Oprah alone could give them land and rebuild their homes without even noticing a change in her lifestyle. True. Another said, According to Forbes, Oprah's net worth is an estimated $2.5 billion as of May 24, 2023. Winfrey, who's been living in Hawaii part-time for more than 15 years, owns more than 2,000 acres of land on the island. I'll send 10% of my wealth if she will too. So mm. what is your take on the Oprah and the Rock Maui Fund? Tell us in the comment section. Remember, this video is based on speculation and opinions. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Damn, bruh. Buy their land. So I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Because I, I especially don't like the part about the, you know, uh, these other businesses calling in to try and buy land just uh, for pennies on the dollar. And obviously I don't like how Oprah is, how Oprah and The Rock are 
they're requesting money from the average person instead of their rich friends. Like I'm pretty sure they have so a, a a huge network of rich of people with money, of rich wealthy friends. Um, that if they all donated five million, then you know what I'm saying, the problem would be taken care of already. And I I do agree. Like Oprah could have just done it herself without um, noticing a change in her lifestyle. But um, what do you guys? Let me know what you guys think about the situation. How are you feeling about the uh, Maui situation? Obviously, it's a, it is a tragic event that happened. Um, so I hope everybody is able to uh, grieve okay. And and um, I hope obviously that it, it sucks that, that for their losses. But I'm hoping I hope that the the ones who did survive are able to uh, continue to continue living on living on for those who uh, passed away. Um, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the whole Maui situation, the whole um, Oprah situation, the uh, the whole. The, the charity situ situation and event. Like, what do you guys think about it? It's kind of, is this kind of messed up? Uh, I said my piece. But let me know in the comments below about what you think. And um, as always, links to the video and links to the channel will both be in the description below. So be sure to visit Just In. And while you're over there, don't forget to do those three things I like to ask you to do. And like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to help. A notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know what it is after that. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace. Much love to you.